Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Little Cupcake here, picking up where we left off last time after we made our mod. So now we have a mod. That's wonderful. But before we can... It doesn't really do anything at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a config file so that we can start adding stuff to it and have it change things. Um, first things first, we saw you saw we made this little init thing. What we need to do now is make something else called at preinit. And preinit is going to be doing stuff, it'll be uh, before the initialization of the game. And it's just a public void, we'll call it preload, sure why not, right? Considering we've already got load. I'm pretty sure this isn't specific what you call it. Um, we're just going to call this FML, or or what you'll need to have here is FML pre initial pre -initial, yeah FML pre initialization initialization event, and I hope I'm spelling this with the proper cases with pre in it. It might have a lowercase i, I'll have to check in a second. But the event is still event, and it needs a body underneath it. So we've got this. I spelled this wrong. No, I didn't. But we do need to import it. And I'm pretty sure we need to import this too. Yep. Could have just checked both of those with the control shift O. However, I didn't. Anyways, what we want to do is we can have the the this program tell us that it's loading. It'll show up down here whether it's loading. If we have a system dot out dot print line and we're gonna want to have uh, the string print line string and the string is going to say something like loading your mod. Right? And that'll just tell us that our thing is loading. That's not really needed for the the config file, but it is handy to have. Gosh, that was weird. Anyways, uh now that we have this, it's loading our mod. That's wonderful. Uh, we want to add a configuration file, so we'll go configuration um, config is equal to new configuration event dot get suggested configuration All right. so we've got that, we've got our new config we need to control shift O this right here we're probably going to want to use the minecraft forge one of course considering we're forge modding and you're going to want to add some events loading and save so we're going to go config dot load and config dot save and there you have your configuration file it didn't take very much it only took three lines to do um, and you now have a configuration file what we're going to do is we're going to use this later to add blocks straight to our config files blocks and items so thanks for watching um, and good luck